hear folks uh, that very upset, as they should be, because things are not working too well. I think Gustavo will bring some fresh air in. I think that working together with myself, uh, uh, Jose Peralta, and some of the new voices that are coming to Albany, will be able to bring about some fundamental change that's needed to make sure that the vast majority of New Yorkers are again trustful of their legislature, particularly the Senate. So I'm happy to be here to endorse him. He has very strong qualities, integrity, hardworking. You know, he's someone that's a visionary for the future and someone that will make us very proud representing this district in the New York State Senate. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And now, I would like to introduce uh, someone that currently represents the 31st Senatorial District, but is, uh, I would say, the front runner in the race for New York State Attorney General. At least that's what the New York Times said yesterday. <laughs> so, so, you know, I, I am happy uh, to be uh, trying to fill his big shoes. You know, I, I'm a size 10 and a half. I think, you know, you know, he's got bigger shoes than me. But, you know, I'm happy to have him here standing next to us. He's been a progressive leader in Albany. You know, he's the guy that, that helped reform in the Senate the Rockefeller drug laws. He's the guy that, that, that put forward a very impressive, uh, you know, ethics reform and campaign finance reform package. He's the guy that has come forward with the Innocence Bill. He's someone that's working very hard for progressive uh, uh, choices in the Senate and has been uh, a leader in that cause. And now, of course, He's seeking to be our next Attorney General, and he's here also to give you some news. Eric Schneider. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, it's great to be here with, with Adriano Espaillat, who uh, uh, will take the work I have done in the 31st Senate District and build and improve on that and do much more than I have been able to do, and also with the great council member from this area, Fernando Cabrera, who is joining us. But today we're here about Gustavo Rivera. Uh, I have had the good fortune to be able to work with him uh, when he was working in the Senate. And during the period of time, it was a very critical moment when we really made the push and, and uh, took the Senate back from the Republicans, took over the debate, took over the issues. And I, I know him. I know his qualities. I know his experience. This is someone who's worked with me. He's worked for Barack Obama. He worked with Kirsten Gillibrand. He's a teacher. He teaches political science, he always gives back to the community, he always reaches out to help young people. And in Albany, you need the intelligence, which he's got, and you need the experience, which he's got, but you also need the intestinal fortitude, you need the heart. <laughs> you need the heart to stand up so you don't go along and get along, you don't get caught up in this culture of dysfunction. And Gustavo Rivera, I assure you, has not only the intelligence and the experience, he has the heart to be a true reformer in Albany. And I cannot imagine a better partner in government when I'm the Attorney General to work with uh, on true reform and on the agenda for justice for all the workers that I'm running on. Having Adriano Espiat there would be wonderful. Having Adriano Espiat and Gustavo Rivera in the Senate would really be uh, a great, great uh, step yeah. towards the true reform we need towards giving the New York State people the government they deserve. I am, could not be prouder to be here today with this outstanding young man who I've had the great pleasure to work with and endorse today for the New York State Senate, Gustavo Rivera. And now, let's hear from the man of the hour. <laughs> Uh, first of all, welcome to our welcome to our humble abode, where our office is just from down the street, down the block here. Um, I am very proud to be standing here with both Adriano Espaillat and with Eric Schneiderman, uh, who, are, who I endorse both for their for their both for their races. And it is very simple. The reason I want to go to the state senate is because I believe that the people of the 33rd district have been ill-served and ill-represented. And what I want to do when I go to Albany is I want to be a senator like Eric Schneiderman has been and like Adriano Espaillat is going to be. Both of these men have men, are men of integrity and are men that are committed to public service. I believe that public servants should serve the public. Uh, I am very proud to stand with them here today because at the end of the day, this is about the people of the 33rd District, the people of the Northwest Bronx, who again have been ill-served and have not been respected. 
uh, and I want to be able to be, go to go to Albany to fight for the reforms that Eric has fought for for years. I look forward to having him as a partner as the Attorney General, and I look forward to having Adriano Espaillat as another progressive voice in the Senate, because he was very right. We worked together in the Senate to make sure that we would take the majority uh, for a very long time. And now that we have a democratic majority, what we need is a democratic majority that is stable and trustworthy so we can move forward with the progressive changes that we need for this state. So again, I am extremely proud to be standing here with Adriano Espaillat and with Eric Schneiderman, and I hope that I can be serving the people of this district in Albany uh, after September 14th. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. If anybody has any questions, oh, and I also, I'm sorry, I also want to thank my friend, my good friend, Fernando Cabrera, yes. who is the council member for this district, I and know. who is, uh, uh, I was actually, I had the privilege of being in his church this morning, um, and uh, he is also somebody that I want to be a partner to, because right here in this district, there's so many needs, things that have not been, needs that are not being met, and what you need, what Fernando needs in office is somebody who can be a partner with him in Albany. So I want to be in Albany to be a partner to him, I want to be a partner to Adriano in the Senate, and I want to be a partner to the next Attorney General of the, of the, <laughs> the next Attorney General of the State of New York, Eric Schneider. Thank you. Eric Holder. Are there any, are there any questions? Okay. Thank you. you always ask the question. No. Uh, today, uh, the, um, Senator Espada put an ad and a video mm -hmm. uh, where he said that the Working Family Party is under federal investigation, that that is not the case. Uh, however, he doesn't mention that he is under federal investigation. <laughs> what do you say? That? Do you have, have you seen the ad? I the have, video? I, I have seen. I have seen the ad. I think it's a. Um, I think that people should see it for themselves. It accuses me of being a, a, a puppet, um, and I, I just think you know what? It's a distraction. It's a distraction because what we should be talking about are the people of this district, are the people of the Northwest Bronx. One out of three people in the Bronx think that they might become homeless if the prices of housing go up too much. All right. That's what we should be talking about. 72,000 units of rent-stabilized apartments, and we have the chair of the housing committee that is not pushing for progressive legislation in housing. That's a problem. 13% unemployment rate. Why doesn't he talk about that? I think it's a distraction. What I'm concerned about, what I'm focused in with these gentlemen, is making sure that we can address the concerns of the 33rd district. You've been talking about the issue affecting the district. Mm -hmm. uh, how come Pedro Espada doesn't do that? He's just talking about that. Uh, he being attacked because he's Latino. Um, yes, you are a Puerto Rican running against him. How could people who are supporting you are against Puerto Rican? And that's what he's trying to say by innuendos. Well, I think, again, what I'm focused on is making sure that I can offer the people of the 33rd District the best services possible, that I can be a partner in Albany to folks like Fernando Cabrera and Adriano Espaillat. This is the folks that I want to work with. So as far as why he's why he's doing why he's doing certain things, you should be asking him. Or Republicans apparently. All right. <laughs> we good? Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.